Hey, it's Luis Urrutia. I'm a senior presentation designer and content creator. In this video, I will show you five easy ways to elevate your next PowerPoint presentation. Starting off with the first way, which is to use 3D models. In PowerPoint, you can go to insert, then click on 3D models. And here you can find a huge library of 3D models ready to use in your presentation. For example, I'll look for a 3D model of the earth and insert it. With this handle in the center, you can drag it around to change the model's view and perspective. And let me show you something very cool. Let's say I have this slide already set up with a 3D model. If you duplicate it with Ctrl D on your keyboard and move the 3D model around, you can change its size, position, or whatever you want. Then go to the second slide, click on Transitions and apply Morph, and you will have a very cool animation of the 3D model morphing into a different view. This would work great, for example, if you need to explain something and you want to show different views of the same element. Now, the second way is to add graphics like these ones to enhance your content. I know how difficult this can be to get sometimes, but I like to use this website that is free for up to 20 projects. It's called Kittle.com and basically on the homepage you have a huge library of images for you to browse, but you can also use the search bar if you want to look for something specific. Once you click on any of the images, everything will become editable, which is great because it means that you don't need to install or download anything externally to edit the words, change the colors, etc. You can also access these pre-made assets if you click on the left panel here and then on templates. For example, for my presentation about sustainability, I will create a few custom stickers that will instantly elevate the layouts of my presentation. So I'll search the word stickers in the search bar. I think these ones will work, so you only need to click on them. They are very easy to customize. Just double click on the words type in your new words and that's it. If you click on them once, you'll also be able to change the colors. You can change each of them individually by selecting any of them and then choosing a different one from the color wheel, or you can also click on browse color palettes and choose a different one. This will change all of them at the same time. To save them as images that you can use in your presentations, simply right click on any of them and click on download selection. Make sure it says PNG and then click on download and that's it. These assets are ready to be embedded into any of your slides for your presentations. Kidul also has a lot of different resources that you can use to elevate your presentations. They recently integrated AI capabilities. So for example, if you click on the Kittle AI icon here and then on Set Generator, you can upload the reference image that you like, type in different prompts in this area, and you will have a set of different images in the same style that you can then use in your presentations. I'll use this one as icons for this slide and look at that this was so easy there's a free plan so you can try it out and they also have paid plans starting at ten dollars a month with features like commercial licenses and advanced ai tools i'll leave the link in the description box below along with the code to get 25 percent off any paid plan thank you kittle.com for partnering with me on this video the third way is to use the zoom transition in powerpoint so let me show you how it works you need to have one slide that provides an overview of your content, like a map, for example. Next, you're going to create a different slide for each of your regions. If you want to learn how I designed these slides, just check my video on how I made this Middle Earth presentation. Then go back to the overview slide, click on insert, then zoom and select slide zoom. Holding shift on your keyboard, you're going to select all of the slides but the overview one and this will insert all these thumbnails into your slide. Next, I'll quickly position them on the map in the different regions. Make sure to select each thumbnail, click on Zoom Tools, and check the Return to Slide option. That way, when you're in slideshow mode, you'll be able to click on each thumbnail, which will zoom into a region, and when you click on it again, it will take you back to the map. Amazing, right? Now, the fourth way is to mask videos for more creative layouts. For example, you can add a text and use a very large font. I'm using the font Kaluna Rounded for this one. Then insert the video. I'll simply use one of the videos from PowerPoint's library. Just go to insert, click on video and select stock videos. There are tons of options, but I think something like this might work. Now select everything and in the search bar, you're going to look for merge shapes. And then you're going to scroll down to merge shapes and click on intersect. Finally, click on playback, set the start to automatically, and that's it. This is an easy way to elevate your slides in PowerPoint. And finally, the fifth way is to use the push transition to make more seamless presentations. For example, if you have a timeline, you could add each year or date on a different slide. 
I'll just add the year and the description on the slide. And then I'm going to insert a horizontal line that goes across the slide from left to right like this. Duplicate the slide and here you can replace the content with your next date and so on. Holding shift on your keyboard, select all the slides, go to transitions and click on push. Then you're going to change the effect options to from right and that's it. Now you have a very cool timeline with seamless transitions from one slide to the next that doesn't even look like PowerPoint anymore. So that's it guys, five ways to elevate your next PowerPoint presentation. Let me know which of these ideas you'll be using and I'll see you on my next video.